Hey, I'm Sean Destroyer Loeffler. We're here at The Compound in Oceanside, California. TheCompoundMMA.com. This is another technique of the week. Jiu-Jitsu grappling video, as you know by now. Today, my demonstration partner is gonna be Cunny Hughes. Cunny is actually the tech guy. He's usually taking the videos and uploading them and doing all that stuff, but he's a good jiu-jitsu guy himself, so he's gonna jump in and help me demonstrate with the beard of knowledge. So, we're gonna do a re-counter today. Now, a re-counter is a counter to a counter. You know, so you've got the offensive move, the counter, and then the re-counter. So it actually counters the counter, if that's making sense. And uh, it's a re-counter to the Kimura defense. So we got the Kimura, the low shoulder lock, also known as a hammer lock, a figure four shoulder lock, a low shoulder lock, a chicken wing, a Kimura. There's a bunch of names for it, but it's all the, you know, lower, lower shoulder lock Kimura technique. So we're gonna go over a quick, quick, you know, you know, just diagnostic of that, you know, so just diagnose what's going on with the low shoulder lock, and then we're gonna show a quick counter and then a really cool re-counter that I call the bow tie Kimura. All right, so I'm in my guard. Now for the Kimura, it's basically simple. I like to break down the guy's posture to force him to touch the mat, all right? The second he puts his hands on the mat, which you never wanna do in jiu-jitsu, but since I use my legs to break down his posture, I boom, got him to touch the mat. I break my guard open, hit my feet on the ground, I push my butt away, I wrap his arm to break his posture down a little bit, figure four my hands, and then as I scoop my hips out and scoop my hips away and kind of shrimp towards him, I bring his fist in front of my knee, boom. And now his fist is in front of my leg, I can use my leg, my torso, and both of my hands to execute the Kimura And he taps, okay? So, I'm not gonna break down that move anymore, it's pretty basic. Now, good defense for the Kimura, once I go here, is he's gonna grab his leg. He's gonna grab on the inside of his leg, he's gonna grab on the outside of his leg, he's gonna grab my leg. He's gonna do whatever he can to protect this shoulder from being exposed. So what I do at this point, since now I can't grab the wrist because he stuffed his hand, which is the counter to the Kimura, is I'm gonna cap his tricep. I'm gonna tell him, you want that there? Let's stick that there. I'm gonna cap his tricep. I'm gonna grab my bicep like I'm doing a rear naked choke on his tricep right here, and then I'm gonna use my body and breathe out and torque out and bring his arm out for the bow tie. If you see his arm and my arm kind of make me look like a bow tie, like a clown in a circus. And now I'm gonna torque and I can finish the submission from right there. If a guy's really flexible and isn't tapping to the bow tie right here, I can transition to my standard Kimura. All right, so that's a technique. We're gonna go through it one more time. I shoot for the Kimura. He counters the Kimura by stuffing it. I transition to the bow tie Kimura. I shuck his arm out, leg up, and I finish the bow tie Kimura, which is the counter to the Kimura counter. So it's a re counter. TheCompoundMMA.com. Check us out. Come into Oceanside and get some free classes and see if you like it. Cunny Hughes, Sean Loeffler, everybody else that's watching at home, get on the mat.